Yo, what is up guys? Alpha King here and in today's video, I am going to be discussing why I personally think that Dead by Daylight's Chapter 16 Killer will be Candyman. But before I get into the video, if you would if you would please leave a like on this video and if you do enjoy this video, Please make sure to subscribe to see more content like this and gameplays in the future. Alright, so I'm going to start at the very beginning when I think the uh, Candyman Dead by Daylight talk started happening. When everybody start, start, started to think that Candyman would, would be in Dead by Daylight. So, as you all most likely know now, that there is a new Candyman, which is a spiritual sequel to the 1992 uh, original that Tony Todd played as Candyman. Um, it's going to be a, uh, a, a, a spiritual sequel, apparently. Uh, it was supposed to be releasing in June, but now they pushed it back to uh, September. Um, due to the circumstances that we are currently living in at the, at the moment. Um, but yeah, first things first, that it, the new movie comes out later this year. Okay, so Candyman is going to be a very... Candyman is, is already the talk in every um, horror person uh, chat, most likely, at the moment. Um, but... Things got interesting like earlier this year when someone pointed out that Tony Todd, the voice, the actor that played Candyman, and he, he does he does numerous voiceovers for different films, games, and everything. Um But Tony Todd he he followed Dead by Daylight the Dead by Daylight Twitter account and he followed uh, he followed the Dead by Daylight Twitter account the same at the at, at the same day that he followed uh, the Candyman the new movie uh, uh, official Twitter account so they got people talking talking about well that's interesting Tony Todd followed um, the Dead by Daylight Twitter account at this at this on the same day as he followed um the Candyman rework I mean Candyman uh 2020 movie so that got people talking and um later on down the road he also followed Behavior Interactive's official Twitter account so <laughs> that's that's one of the reasons that's one of the big reasons why I think Candyman is going to be in he's going to be uh, in Dead by Daylight now the other thing is that like there's a lot of people that's, that, that, that keep saying that uh, Candyman is not is not uh, big enough or uh, worldwide known to become a killer in Dead by Daylight, I have to disagree with that, honestly. Now, as I, I I know Candyman as a movie, and Candyman as the killer is not very popular. Like the icons of the horror franchise, like Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, uh, Freddy Krueger, like those three, Leatherface, those four, Candyman is nowhere near as popular as they. Are. Okay, let's get that straight. I know that, but that that isn't stopping Dead by Daylight from getting Candyman in the game. Like most people in America, and probably other places, but most people in America, they know or have seen or heard of Candyman. So I wouldn't think it will be. I wouldn't think it'll be. It'll be a very nice license to get for Dead by Daylight. Honestly, because Candyman is one of the killers that is not as popular, but everybody either has heard, know, or seen 
things about him. Also, like that freaking that's that's a picture of Candyman, where he's just standing there with his hook. That's the that, that, I think that's most that's the most iconic. That's one of the most iconic uh, pictures I've ever seen. Like, if you see that picture, you automatically know that's Candyman. Um, another thing is... I asked, okay, on Twitter, about a couple of days ago, I asked Polly Esther about something. I asked him, is it possible that the killer is the only licensed part of Chapter 16 and the survivor slash map are original. Now, this is something that that will be interesting because if you if if you may not have known, but Kate Denson, the the original survivor that comes with the clown DLC, was originally supposed to be released with Leatherface. So that may, that got me thinking. Okay. That got me thinking. If they was originally going to release Kate with Leatherface, Leatherface is the license, and um, Kate Denson is an original. So they would they would have had a they would have had a chapter, which which the killer would be Leatherface, which is licensed, and then that original survivor. And the map that every the map everybody knows is uh, backwater. I forget. I think it's Grand Pantry. Pantry is the one that uh came with Leatherface. I'm not 100% sh sure on that. If you know, if you know, if I'm wrong, please make sure to correct me. Uh, please be sure to correct me in the comments. But uh, yeah. Um, like uh, if like I think it's possible, honestly, because. First of all, in the in the official Dead by Daylight uh, announcement about the chapter, they said that the killer will be iconic, and the survivor is a mysterious survivor. So like that also got me thinking: if it's a mysterious survivor, maybe it's an original survivor because nobody knows anything about them yet. But the killer, we all know, is going to be licensed, so everybody will possibly know them. So. It's 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 a very poss it's a very uh, good possibility that this chapter might not all be licensed. In my opinion, in my opinion, I think the killer could be Candyman, and the survivor and the map would be original. Now, the other point I want to make is why the another reason why I think that this chapter chapter sixteen might be like this. Is because if you look at the original Candyman, okay, there's a this, like if, if if they did choose a survivor from Candyman, of course, it would be the top uh, the top pick would be Helen, played by Virginia Matson. Uh, she was the main character of Candyman, so like if they if they did put a survivor in related to the chapter uh, Candyman, it would definitely be Helen. But, and then the map, the only map that, the only place in the original Candyman movie that, uh, that, that the most of the movie takes place on is, is this called, it's a project in Chicago called Cabriti Green. Now, when I, when I thought of that, I was like, hmm, a, would Dead by Daylight actually put in a project and, like, of a, of a real city, of a real project, uh, projects in this, in Chicago, could they really put that in the map in the game? So I was like, I don't think they like, I don't think they would or they could. So it got me thinking, like, um, there's no other map that Candyman could be on. So I was like, well, that that just that that makes it more likely that this chapter 16 will be half licensed and half original because like i in my opinion I'm, i i am i am probably wrong i'm probably really wrong on this but 
I think, now this is my prediction. I know everybody has their prediction. Some people think it's Jason, which I'm going to get to that later. And some people think it could be Pennywise. But I personally think that Chapter 16 will be indeed the killer of the indeed Candyman. And there's a very good possibility that the survivor and the map will both be original, in my opinion. Now, if my second guess, like my top guess, uh, top prediction of the killer is Candyman, of course. I've been saying that. I don't say Candyman about five times. I'm probably going to be dead by the time <laughs> this video comes out. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, Tony Todd, don't get me, please. <laughs> um, my second choice, of course, is going to be Jason Voorhees. Like, Jason Voorhees is one of the only iconic killers. One of the top five iconic killers that is not in the game yet. Now, as you may have known that the Friday the 13th franchise has been in a lawsuit, uh, lawsuit problems since last year, I believe. Um, so, n nothing with video games have been really talked about for Friday the 13th. Um, even Friday the 13th, the game, they, they stopped making content about it. They stop making content for the game because of the lawsuit. So, yeah. Um, but there's a way. There's a way. Dead by Daylight could get the Friday the Thirteenth uh, Jason in the game. All they have to do is not mention anything from the first movie. So they cannot mention mo uh, Jason's mother, which is Pamela Voorhees. They cannot mention her. They can't use. Which I don't think they even would, but they can't use uh, the young boy, Jason, in the game. Which I honestly don't think they will ever do. If they did do Jason. Um, they can't... I don't know if Camp Crystal Lake is tied to the first uh, Friday the 13th. But, um... Honestly... I honestly don't know about that, but they could have a, like the map for Jason could be a campsite. It don't have to be Camp Crystal Lake. It can just be a campsite, which I would love. I would love to have a campsite in Dead by Daylight, honestly. Um, yeah, so that's my second guess, honestly, is uh, Jason Voorhees, of course. Like Jason Voorhees is my second favorite horror icon in the French in the in the industry. Of course, my number one is Michael Myers. Everybody knows that. All my friends know that. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Even Michael knows that. <laughs> um, so, having Jason in the game would definitely benefit Dead by Daylight a lot, I swear. But, uh, yeah, back to Candyman. I honestly think Candyman is the Chapter 16 killer. Now, if I'm wrong, which I probably am, if I'm wrong, Candyman is definitely coming to uh, Dead by Daylight in the future. I, I, I honestly think that because Tony Todd has been at it. Tony Todd has been at it with Dead by Daylight tweets and stuff. Like, he's been replying to people, liking people tweet about Dead by Daylight, Candyman and Dead by Daylight. Um, he even confirmed like a couple of days ago that he was doing two voiceovers for certain projects. Now, he confirmed that the second voiceover was for a film. The first voiceover, he could not, he did not say anything about it. So, it's very possible that like, he could have been doing voiceover for Candyman and Dead by Daylight. Which, which got people talking that Candyman, if he does make it into the game, will be the first ever killer to actually have voice lines in the game. Now, people might say that Plague has voice lines. She only has voice lines in her Mori. Now, Candyman, like, he, he, he could have voice lines, like, when he's chasing the virus. He could be like, be my victim, or... Sorry, let me do my impression. He could be like, be my victim 
or he could be like say, as much as I, I would love it I would love to have him say all the survivors names like Claudette <laughs> or Dwight I do a horrible impression I'm sorry guys but how cool would that be a killer actual voice lines but um, I think this video is going too long <laughs> um, but honestly this is what it's it, like my prediction is Candyman will be Dead by Daylight's chapter 15 killer and and um, their survivor and the map will both be original so that's my prediction guys if let, let me know in the comments who you think the killer will be um, if you if you agree with me that you think it's gonna be Candyman please let me know uh, you need to, uh, if it, yeah this this just comment below about who you think the killer will be and like do you agree with me saying that it's gonna be Candyman and or do you agree with me that it will be Candyman but the survivor slash map will be original anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video I had so much fun discussing my prediction my thoughts um I would love to hear your thoughts as well and yeah we don't have to wait too long because the dev stream for the chapter reveal will be um next tuesday it will be next tuesday may 26th so we won't have to wait too long to know who the killer is honestly so <laughs> if i'm wrong guys please don't come to this video and put in the comments oh my gosh you was wrong ha 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 you wrong you wrong you wrong <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah guys i um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye, -bye.